Hey everyone, for this tutorial I'll be looking at translating a normal map from Blender into a normal map that you can use within After Effects with Stefan Minning's Normality plugin. Now this plugin is uh, really cool. It basically will take a composite image and then take a normal map image and utilize that to uh, allow you to re remap the lighting within After Effects itself using 3D lights in After Effects. Uh, very powerful plugin. In addition to Stefan Minning's website, 3dcg.net, I would encourage you to check out Video Copilot to see further tutorials on the subject. They have a very good one up there about relighting 3D in After Effects. The first time I read about this effect, it was on uh, Blender Nation uh, a few years ago, and uh, I never saw any video tutorials about it, so I thought I'd make this video tutorial finally and uh, just illustrate how powerful this plugin can really be. Okay, so here I've got a uh, Blender project with this night chess piece loaded from BlendSwap.com. The artist was Zoltan Puskieli. I am probably not saying that right. And as you can see, it's a Creative Commons uh, attribution license, which is quite nice. To turn on the normal map, you just click Layers here and hit Normal. I've got a couple of lights set up in this scene, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit F12 to make a render. And as you can see, if you've ever seen a normal pass before, the normal normal pass out of Blender is uh, very strange looking. It's got a very unusual color configuration. Um, but let's see what this does in After Effects. So let's save it as normal map Blender. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and save out a composite of the image. Save it as, uh, just call it a composite. Pull these into After Effects. So let's choose Normality. Let's choose our normal map, Normal Map Blender. Let's add a light, point light. And as you can see, it's pretty freaking weird looking. I mean, it's not doing what it should be doing. And that's because the color configuration that renders out of Blender on normal maps is not what normality uses. So the way you can change this is get into your node editor here, use nodes, and there's our normals, because it's turned on. And then shift A to add, and then go down to color, mix. First thing we're going to do is make this mix a multiply and drag your normal map to the image node and then designate the image that it mixes with as gray 50 percent so 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 all right then go ahead and add another color mix node make that add and also make the second image gray that didn't work okay gray 5.5.5 and then feed the output image of that into that and there you go now we'll add one more color invert and then we'll drag the image into the color go on image into the come on image into the color and then drag the color to image now if we do a render, we see that it applies. There's the normal map as it should appear if we're going to use this plugin in After Effects. So let's save this as, let's say, normal fix. All right, so back in After Effects here, we've got our normal map fix image now plugged into the equation. Let's go to composite layer and look at what our normal map is assigned to. Change it to normal map fix and then move the light around you can see oh my goodness it is working you've got a real normal map influencing your light and this is a really powerful tool i mean as you can see you can more or less light the scene after your render it's not perfect but uh it'll certainly go a long way to changing the look of something that you've already rendered out but you don't want to go through the process of re-rendering. That's it for this quick tip. Thanks for watching.